Hello viewers, welcome to UN College Digital Class. In today's class, I am going to discuss about the logical operators. In the last session, we have discussed about the relational operators. The relational operators are those operators which are used for checking a particular condition. It is very similar to logical operators, but the main difference is that in case of relational operator, we are comparing or we are checking two operands. Okay, but in case of logical operators, you can check multiple conditions at a time. Now we will discuss one by one. There are three different types of logical operators. One is logical and which is represented by using double ampersand and another one is logical of which is represented in this way. Last one is logical not. Okay. Now we will discuss logical and. According to logical and when two conditions are satisfied or true, it means that suppose you are checking multiple condition, let two condition. If two conditions are true, then the then it will return true, otherwise false. But in case of logical or if one of the condition is true, then in that case it will return true. And it is just opposite in case of not. Exactly what is the meaning of not here? Not is just represent or specifies the reverse of the logical state of the operand. For example, suppose the logical state of the operand is true, then according to logical not it is false. If the logical state is false, then according to logical not it is true. It is just reversing the logical state. Okay. I hope you have understood the basic difference in between and, or and not. Now we will explain one by one by giving examples. First we will discuss about logical and. Logical and is used to check two or multiple conditions and it returns true if all the conditions are true. For example, suppose here I am using only two operands, let and I am using 0 and 1 to represent the what is the true state or what is the false state according to logical and. If two operands are 1, then it will return true. If any 1 is 0, then it is returning false. In case of 1, 0, the value will be false. In case of 0, 1, the value will be false. Sorry. In case of true 0, the value will be false. It means that logical and will return true only in case when the two operands are true. Now I am giving one real life example so that you will be very clear on the concept of logical and. Suppose you are going to the market, you are entering into the shop and you want to purchase a particular dress. Suppose you want to purchase this dress just a price up to 2000 rupees and of a particular brand and of a particular color. Then you will check number of dresses on the basis of this criteria. Is the dress is having that type of brand, that type of style, that type of color, etc. And is it according to your requirement, your fulfilled options, all those things. In the similar way, when in a program we want to check multiple condition, if, the, if this is the condition, if this is the condition, if this is the condition, and we want to combine all the condition by using AND operator, in that case logical AND is used. For example, suppose the question is that input 3 number and find out the greatest one. In that case, for example, suppose the number are A, B and C and you want to find out the greatest one. You will say that A is the greatest number when A is greater than B and A is greater than C. Similarly, you will say that B is greater than B, A and C. How you will represent it? B is greater than A and B is greater than C. And similarly, if C is greatest, then how you will represent it? it C is greater, greater than A and C is greater than B. If you will write it in a C++ programming, then the coding will be like this. Now the example is, 
has include iostream is iostream you know what is the meaning of iostream all the input output operation are defined or performed by iostream that is why we have to attach to iostream with our program then class demo you may use any name no problem i have used int abc because here the question is input three number and find out the greatest one so here i have used three variables then void input inside the input we are entering three values then the void check function you may use any name here no problem if a is greater than b and a is greater than c here you can see it clearly visible that this is a single condition a is greater than b and it is another condition a is greater than c we have combined these two condition by using and it means that if this condition is true and if this condition is true then the this out this will be the output else else means if this condition is true and this condition is false or this condition is false or this condition is true in this way it means that if the and operator will return false in that case now again another condition will be checked in this condition here we are checking if b is greater than a and b is greater than c if it is true then this will be the output else else means if this condition is not true if this condition is not true then obviously else part will be executed and you will get output c now i am explaining this by using the main function this is about the class the class will be executed by using the object inside the main function now inside the main method we have used one object you know it is the object of the class demo the name of the object is obj you may use any name no problem when you are declaring when you are creating the object it contains three variable int a b and c let this is a let this is b and let this is c then obj dot input it means that you are executing or you are calling the input method and you are entering three values let the values are 15 then 16 then 30 okay let the values you may change the values also then when you are calling obj dot check now this part will be executed check function will be executed inside the check function first if condition will be checked if a is greater than b and a is greater than c now we will check this one a is greater than b no that's why now now it will come to the else part it means that it will not go to the second condition because for the the first condition is false that's why it is not necessary to check the second condition now it will come to the else part in the else part if b is greater than a and b is greater than c it means that if b is greater than a and b is greater than c yes that's why now this part will be executed and system will be stop the program execution we will get output as b is greatest number okay i think you have understood this one but still i am giving another case of example so that you will be clear suppose instead of 15 i have entered 25 here then how it will be performed when you are calling the check function the first condition will be checked if a is greater than b and a is greater than c yes it means that here we will get output 25 and the system will stop the program execution okay now we will discuss about the next logical operator that is logical or logical or performs on two or multiple operands and it return true if only one of the operand is true for example suppose here i am using one and zero to represent two operands let two operands are one then or will return true if one operand is zero and another one is uh, one then also the value will be true in case of one and zero the value will be true in case of zero and one the value will be true in case of 0 0 the value will be false okay it is totally different from logical and if we will compare this with logical and then 
in case of logical and the table will be like this true 1 0 false 0 1 false 0 0 false now you can compare this to here only uh, the value will be true if two apparents are true otherwise in every all the cases it is false but in case of logical or if two operands or only one operand is true then also the value will be or the result will be true if two operands or all the operands are false then the value will be false now we will give one example so that you will be clear let you are going to the market and you want to purchase a dress if the dress is in your budget you will purchase it or if the dress is according to your brand then you will purchase it here you are using multiple condition with or you are not using and so if we will write this one by giving an example so that it will be more helpful for you let the question is first i am giving the question to you let the question is input a character and check whether it is vowel or not it means that the character you can enter any character but if the character is a e i o u any one of them then it is vowel okay so how you will check it by using logical or operator Now the program is class demo, I have, I am just writing the class first then I will explain main function. Class demo inside class demo one character variable and then public access specifier then inside void input enter a character you can, you are allowed to enter any character in C. Then void check, inside the check method we are checking here that if C equal to equal to A it is here we are checking it is a relational operator we have used here and along with the logical or operator we have used here if c equal to equal to a or c equal to equal to e or c equal to equal to i or c equal to equal to o or c equal to equal to u i have checked all the five vowels in small characters here also it is necessary to check all the five vowels with capital letter also but as it is a very simple example of logical or operator that is why I have checked only 5 vowels in small letter. But when we will do the program by using if condition when we will discuss more in depth in if condition at that time we will write the same program using other 5 condition it means that we will combine 10 different condition by using or. Now, if C will satisfy, if any one of the condition will be satisfied, then this part will be executed C out vowel, otherwise not vowel. Now I am writing the main function, then we will explain it again. Inside the main method, we have used one object that is demo, demo is one object, sorry demo is the class, the object is obj. 
inside the obj one variable will be allocated of character type that is c obj adult input now we will be asked to enter a character suppose i am i have entered capital x or small x suppose i have entered small x or m any value you may enter any value no problem then obj dot check now it will move to this location for checking if c equal to equal to a all the five variables or all the five constant will be checked c equal to equal to a c equal to equal to e c equal to equal to i in this way all the five constant values of vowel will be checked as no one will be satisfied no one is true here for that reason else part will be executed and that is c out not vowel so here we will get the output not vowel but let i am changing the input character here suppose i am entering e okay in this case what will happen inside the check function c will be checked with a then c will be checked with e and our c is containing e value that's why now we will get output c out vowel i hope you have understood the basic concepts of logical and and logical or now we will discuss about logical not now we will discuss about logical not it is very simple one it just re represent or it just uh, returns the total reverse of the logical state of the operand for example it is represented with this symbol for example let a value is 5 b value is 6 and if we are checking if we are using the not operator with a greater than b here we are using your logical uh, relational operator greater than a greater than b a greater than b no because a value is 5 b value is 6 so the output will be zero or false but as we have used not here now we will get the output one here i hope you are getting let me explain it again suppose i am changing the value a equal to 15 b equal to 6 and i am checking this one i am using the relational operator here a greater than b yes the logical state will be one but as not is used here so here we will get output zero i hope you have understood this one in today's class we have discussed about logical and or and not also with examples now i am going to discuss about size of operator it is one very interesting one size of operator size of data type you may use data type here you may use variable here no problem okay size of size of is one operator which returns the total byte allocated by the data type or total byte allocated by the variable it means that it returns bytes allocated or you may say that uh, how many bytes will be taken by the data type it means that it returns a byte type okay if you are using size of with int then it will return 2 if you are using size of with character then it will return 1 in this case if you will use size of with a class object then it will return the bytes allocated by the object in this way now i am giving one example so that you will be clear now in this example has include io stream you know the meaning of using io stream then class demo then public here i have not used any variable as it is a very simple example and it will be very easy for you to understand you, you can use variable also here no problem then void so inside the so function i have used size of method size of sorry size of operator with int then size of character char size of float then size of double in this way now when we will use a object here d we know that d is the object and when we are calling d dot so now it will come to this point and the execution will be started and we will get output in this manner size of int output will be 2 because int allocate 2 bytes memory location then see out size of char 
it allocates one byte memory location size of float it allocates four byte memory location size of double it allocates eight byte memory location in this way you will get the output by using size of Si instead of int char float double etc if you will use variable also then also you will get the exact memory location exact bytes allocated by the variable in this way in today's class we have discussed about logical and or and not operator by using some examples also we have discussed about size of operator if you have doubts at any point then please write to us in the comment box so that we can clear your doubt thank you so much for watching have a great time